everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different to the channel. We're going to be doing our very first unboxing video. Uh, inside this box, I've actually got myself something a little bit special that I wanted to share with you guys and uh, show you guys. What is in this box is a S controllers and Alan Thompson Sim combined power brake controller for train simulator. Now these are pretty hard to get your hands on. Um, I do recommend you go on the Alan Thompson website and go put yourself on the mailing list uh, for when they do become available. They come available in pretty small batches and they go very, very quickly. They're very sought after. This is a bit of a one-of-a-kind product. There's nothing else really out there for us, for us train simulators fans. Um, so I'm really excited that I've managed to get my hands on one of these. Now it does come in a couple of different uh, variants. Uh, it does come with or without the horn. Uh, I have the variant with the horn. Like I said, I'm very, very lucky to uh, have managed to have got my hands on this one. Um, and it also comes with a few different handlebars. You've got the modern EMU networker style. You've got the T-bar and the ball style. Now I went for the ball style because I think it looked the best. Um, wasn't out of preference out of each of them kind of styles of trains. It just for me it looked the best so that's what I went for. Now you can buy the other handles separately if you wish if you want to swap them out which I'm sure a lot more of the hardcore swimmers would do. But I'm quite happy with what we have here in this box. Now I do want to point out that the audio and video is probably not great at this point um, because I don't really do this. I don't really have the camera equipment for this. Um, so after we've done the unboxing, uh, we will move to the PC where things will change and the quality should change a little bit. So I do apologize for that. If these are the kind of things you want me to do more in the future, um, let me know in those comments down below. Uh, maybe I'll upgrade my camera equipment. Just like the vlog last week, uh, once I do go back to work, I do plan to start vlogging some of my bus journeys as well. Uh, obviously most of you know I am a bus driver. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do in the future and going forward. The power brake controller itself is suitable for all trains in Train Simulator. The controller proves up to four notches of brake and up to seven notches of power. If a train without a PVC is used, the controller will act as a throttle only controller. So this will work with all your different locomotives and that's what we're going to do. We're going to test three or four once we get to the PC. The included software has been created to make it easy and possible to get up and running straight away. Uh, so hence why I wanted to test this because this is what they state. Uh, so we're going to see how easy it is to get out of the box and put straight into your train sim. Over the past year the software has been carefully tuned with over 100 add-on for train simulators to provide a great experience for whatever you wish to drive. When loading into a train, the train sim and the PVC software automatically detects the right parameters to use without hassle. There's also limited but unsupported functionality with train sim world 2 with full support hoped for in the future. So there is something to come in the future hopefully for Train Sim World 2 for any of you that might be fans of that as well. We play a little bit of both on the channel. So yeah, it'd be great if we do get a little bit of Train Sim 2 compatibility as well. Now the unit itself has been modeled to real life controls with special attention given to the feel of the handles as well as the notches and resistance that the controller provides the throttle and brake steps. Okay, this is actually handmade and handcrafted as well. The unit is modeled to real life controls with special attention given to the feel of the handles as well as the notches and resistance that the controller provides on throttle and brake steps. This isn't a mass produced item. It is not made in the Far East. Each unit is individually handcrafted and hand finished to ensure quality, reliability and the most realistic experience possible. Now a couple more features with this. Uh, it's handmade in the UK with high quality components which we're going to have a look at once we've opened it up. We're going to have a little bit of a play with them all, see what we think. Uh, the weight controller is about 1.4 kilograms. It sits firmly on the desk so we're going to see what it feels like on the desk as well. That's where we're going to be testing today. Uh, compatible with trains in Train Simulator 2021 including those from Armstrong Powerhouse and Just Trains with full support with the PBC door uh, panel as well if you guys have that. I don't have that piece of kit unfortunately. Maybe we'll get it in the future. No complex uh, Setup required, bundled with TS controller software to get you up and running straight away and configuration is needed for each train. So yeah, so hopefully we're going to see how easy that is, it does say it's very easy. There's realistic notching up to 4 brake steps and 7 throttle steps, reversible for the class 390. There's 4 position reverser direction switch plus master key as standard. Optional horn lever that works as a PBL brake in such locals as the 66, 67, 68 and 92 which we're going to test probably on the 68 here in a bit. A choice of three interchangeable handles, which we talked about a little bit before, um, which you can pick from. Like I said, I've gone for the ball variant because uh, I just felt like it looked the best. Unofficial partial support for Train Sim World 2 can appear in Windows as a USB game controller, so it can be used with other applications. Uh, requires USB only with no separate mains power. Okay, so without further ado, guys, let's open the box. I'm probably going to have to put it on the floor here. We'll get the camera facing downwards. We're going to open the box together, and uh, for the first time, it'll be my first time looking at this. As okay, well. so. All I've done guys is I've opened up the box, um, I've taken some of the cellophane wrapping out um, and this is what you basically get as soon as you open the box. You've got your PBC quick starter guide which we're going to use to uh, get our PCB up and running. Also 
As you've opened up the box, uh, you can see here, we've got the master key and ball. We're going to look at all these things individually in a second. Um, but yeah, and we've got the actual power brake controller itself. And uh, like I said, I've just undone it. It is wrapped up a lot better than that. I've just undone it for ease of the video here. Um, and as you can see, it is fairly chunky. It feels well made. It feels quality actually. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to put this on the desk. We're going to try and set it all up and uh, we're going to have a bit more in-depth look at this. Okay, now that we've got the PBC on the desk, we can have a little bit more of a look at it. We can have a look at the feeling of it. You've got the horn here. It all feels pretty decent quality. You've got the reverser. Uh, this is where our master key will go in a second. We'll have a look at them. Uh, there is actually bristles in here, a wire like brush, and uh, yeah, it makes a good kind of flow of movement. It's nice. Um, I don't actually need to hold it either. I don't know why I was. Um, it is very secure, very stable. Um, it is made of decent quality actually, you can feel the quality. Underneath you've got these nice little jelly kind of uh, feet, uh, so it really does stick nicely um, to your desk. Now this is one thing I was worried about, you know, when you're thrashing up and down, emergency stops, you know me with my train simulator, the amount of spads and stuff I do. Um, but yeah, so far it feels really, really good. Okay, next we're gonna look at the uh, master kit itself. Okay, so this is 3D modeled, I'd say. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it, it does the job. It, it, you know, it is plastic. Um, but you know, it goes in here, and there you go, you can feel it switching. I assume that the key can come out when it's like that as well, yeah. So, yeah, you know, it, it does the job. Nice bit of uh, nice bit of kit there, it feels nice. Now the other thing that we have here is our ball. Okay, so we've gone for the ball style. So it's very simple, these just slide on and off. Okay, so they're very, very simple, and there we have it. So if you do want to get yourself more than one of these, um, if you want to get all the different styles, maybe I will in the future, we'll see. Um, then yeah, they just pop on and off, very, very simple. Um, really, really nice actually. It's really nice that it's that simple. Some things can be a little bit complicated sometimes, but there we go. So the movement is really, really nice. Now a little bit more on the specification. This is compatible with Train Simulator 2020 64-bit. 32-bit is not currently supported, guys. So if you're not playing on 64-bit, which you probably all would be, um, this will not work with the 32-bit. The Train Sim World 2, again, like I've said before, is only partially supported with this. Uh, it is only for PC only. This will not work on consoles, unfortunately. Uh, Windows operating system is Windows 10 64-bit. The dimensions itself is 150 millimeters uh, in width, 220 millimeters in depth, and it weighs about 1.5 kilograms. And actually, the USB cable comes with a decent size as well. It's a 1.5 meter USB cable. So it's just plug in and play, guys. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to move to the computer. Uh, we're going to change cameras over now. Uh, so th the web camera will now pick me up playing. Uh, we're going to be testing this on the game itself now. Okay, guys, so welcome to the PC now. I've just plugged in the USB for the PBC, and I've brought up a web page here, and we're going to put in tinyurl.com forward slash TSPBC2021, and we're going to press enter. That should now automatically bring a download, as you can see the PBC setup. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to run this download. Um, we're going to run it anyways. That's okay. Uh, it's going to put itself into its own place, that's fine, and we're going to click install. Okay, so now that the installation is here, you can see TS controller, it will give you a little icon. You will now have to run this every time you want to use this with your train simulator. Um, and we can see here, it's PVC is connected, it has already automatically searched it and found this, and this will automatically also find uh, which loco we're using. Um, now there are a few different things here we can look at. Uh, we can swap the DTG class 390 front on brake positions, obviously, so you can have your extra notches of braking, as, and then you got your four slots of power. We will look at the 390. We probably will look at the 68 as well because you can use the horn as a PBL brake as well. Um, so very interestingly now, let's load up the simulator and let's just see how quickly out of the box. And I, I believe there is nothing else that we can do. It will pick everything up for itself. Okay, so we're here in the first locomotive we're going to look at today, and that is the 365 EP. Um, it doesn't matter about the scenario and stuff, we're not going to be driving. We're literally just checking to see how all this is going to be working. Um, obviously, that's now in full service. There we go. We don't want to put it into emergency braking. So we don't actually have to do anything with this. Uh, this is going to run in the background. Um, if you were to use, say, Train Sim World, 
you can change it to train sim world so that's the only thing you'd need to make sure you check you can see it's connected it's already picked up the train for you i have done nothing this has done everything for me and that is one thing i really like about this piece of kit um so we're not going to change the, f the horns or anything we don't need to in this uh, locomotive uh, we do have four notches of power which we already know we have with the 365 so what we're going to do let's get our master key we're going to put it into a slot and we're going to flick it and you can see the master key there it is working flawlessly literally in sync it's that's brilliant so we can now change our reverser into a uh, reverse now we are going to lose this off the screen there we go so i've cleared the uh, warning so it's running in the background just so you guys know it is now running in the background we don't need it for a second anyways so i'm gonna put them in, into forward and let's come off the brake so there we go one two there we go so that is now off that is in the off position here there's a little marking here you can't actually quite see it here on the camera but there is a little marking here and let's put it into a notch power and you can see that the four notches there are perfect and again this is moving flawlessly absolutely flawlessly so you get your four then your one two and three before you go into your emergency braking so look we don't need the train to be moving like i said i just want to demonstrate uh the functions working there you go so reverse is in so if it was in reverse again into into forward there we go and back into that off position master key off and there we go so the 365 it works that well that easy um so let, let's try another locomotive okay so we've now loaded in 390 as you can see here it's picked us up again all by itself all i'm going to click now is this box swap the dtg class 390 throttle and brake positions okay and that's what we're going to do so this is going to disappear when i click on the loco uh, so we are going to use the master key which is already in and you can see again as usual it runs quite flawlessly and we're going to put the loco into neutral we've got a couple of uh, warning signs that we will need to clear There we go and uh, we can say put that into forward so what you have here is it's got the brake notches will go up by two okay so that's what's going to happen here and obviously after six it's going to go into emergency braking and then you get your one two three four so you have to use all the notches to get yourselves in through these uh, but again, you know, that is absolutely fine to me. So that's how that is going to work. You can see that it's going to start moving the uh, loco. And again, we can now put in brake two, brake four, brake six, etc, uh, etc. Et so there we go. This is working really, really nicely on the uh, 390 as well. Okay, so I've loaded up the class 68 because uh, we're going to show you this now. So I'm going to use the horn as the PBL braking. Um, obviously, we know that this train has dynamic braking as well, which we tend to not use. So I'm now going to use the horn as the PBL brake. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you a little bit here now. So this is going to disappear. This has picked up the class 68 all by itself. I've not done anything. Um, as I click on the screen, it will disappear. Okay, so we can get our master key. We can hear the trains coming alive. There we go, all the system. And then you get the AWS early in the Class 68, a little bit different to other locomotives. Okay, very simple. So look, we can actually see here the, the notches, okay? So it goes up in twos. Okay. And again, if you wanted to go forward, you'd have your dynamic braking, but it, again, we will not be using that. What we want to look at here is the braking system. Okay, so if we go downwards, that'll start adding braking pressure uh, until exactly whenever you would be happy, for instance. And again, if you wanted to release that pressure, you can see here, we can release them braking, as you can see on the, uh, up here on the, on the pressures. Okay, so again, if we wanted to set our braking um, to whatever we might set it to as we're braking, and then again, we can release it. So we can use the horn for this on the 68, which is a great feature. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to put the reverse into forward. As you can see, 
the RPM is picking up as it would do uh, on this loco. Make sure the brakes are released and let's put a f notch of throttle on. Let's let's see if we can get her moving. So we're here on the weary lines. I just wanted to show you the braking. So again, you could go through your speeds. You can turn the light on in here. Uh, let's say you come off your speed and then you want to set some braking. Like so. And again, you could add more pressure on the brake, whatever you wish. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using the Class 68 a little bit more now that we have this little gizmo. Um, so yeah, so there you go. That is the Class 68. Very simple. As you can see, it does go up in notches of twos. Um, but again, that is absolutely fine. Okay, so as you can see, we're now here in the Class 156. Okay, so what this will then use, obviously you've got seven notches of power on the 156, so you'll use your seven notches of power here. Uh, unfortunately, braking will be used still on the keyboard. Not a problem. Uh, still nice to have something else. Okay, so you can see here it's picked it up, the 156 again. I've not touched nothing. I've not done nothing. I've not, all I've done is just loaded in a new scenario. So again, we're going to get our master key and uh, you're going to flick it on. And there you go. You can see that the master key is working flawlessly again. Okay, I'm going to click off that. So we're going to put in the reverse into neutral. And there we go. We're going to clear the AWS. We can put the loco, say, into forward. And we can see our notches now. So one, two, three four five six and seven so seven notches of power there uh, which is perfect and it all moves up very flawlessly okay it's really really good really really smooth uh, as always all of it is working really really nicely so it works on any locomotive. We can see that now. It, it, it is a brilliant piece of kit, guys. I highly recommend it. Um, I know it's a bit hard to get your hands on it at the moment, um, but if, if you do get a chance to get your hands on one of these, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It does add so much else now to the simulator. So when I do my live streams in the evening, uh, I will now be running with two cameras. You'll see myself, and uh, you'll also see me using the power brake controller so you can see how it's all working in action. And uh, you'll see that over the scenarios over the coming weeks do go check out alan thompson website so here they are on the website okay so the price ranges do go between 223.95 to 241.86 and um, like i said you can pick with horn which obviously would be the extra 20 uh, so it'll be up on the high end of the bracket and you can pick which handle you want you can pick up other handles look fairly cheaply as well if you want to for me like i said i'm fairly happy with just the ball one i felt it looked the best um so i'm quite happy with what we have here uh, maybe I will add these, you know, maybe let me know in the comments down below. Would you like me to get them so you can see them? You know, let me know. But guys, this is a great piece of kit. They have done themselves proud. Uh, it's nice to actually have something like this in the simulator. The only thing else that is out there is the rail driver. Now, the rail driver is okay. It takes a lot of fiddling to get set up and get right. But once it is set up, it is a pretty good bit of kit as well. But this, this is really nice. Really nice, guys. Highly recommend it. Make sure you go onto the Alan Thompson website if you want to get yourself on one. Make sure you put yourself in uh, for getting notified when they become available so well done to ts controllers and alan thompson for getting this for us um you know it's going to add so much more to our train simulators for all of us all of us train fans um so yeah really really happy with it guys it's really sturdy as you can see i, I played it the whole time it hadn't moved from my desk it hasn't done anything it's really really cool um it looks good it looks the part highly recommended guys if you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, I upload most days. Uh, come join me in some live streams this week, we're going to be testing this out a little bit. Um, but other than that for myself guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye for now.